What's the crack everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Cards Everywhere here bring you another weekly league deck profile. So I have a Radical Rockets deck for you this week. It's been doing quite well for me and can certainly put out some big numbers towards the end of the game. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the deck and we'll jump into a game. So first up we have Gennady Padalka. On the play, your Space Technology and Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, gain 26 power until played. Next we have John Glenn. On the return, your Radical Rockets and Amazing Astronauts cards, wherever they are, gain 10 power and cost a minus 1 energy until played. Next we have Eileen Collins. On the play, if played next to Space Shuttle, your Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, gain 22 power until played. Next up, Eris. On the draw, your space cards wherever they are, lose 10 power permanently. And then on the return, your space cards wherever they are, gain 20 power permanently. Next we have Planisphere. On the play, if your deck contains only space cards, your cards wherever they are, gain 15 power until played. Next we have the Rockets. First up is Soyuz. On the return, your Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, cost minus 2 energy this round. Next we have SpaceX Falcon Heavy. On the draw, if your deck has 10 or more space cards, this card costs minus 5 energy this round. Then we have Space Shuttle. On the return, a random card in your hand gains 28 power until played. Next we have Long March 5. On the return, your Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, gain 15 power, and if you want to turn, an extra 10 power until played. So we do want to play this on a very strong hand. Next we have a Space, space Launch System. On the play, your Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, with 5 or more base energy, gain 18 power until played. And then on the return, your Exploring the Stars cards, wherever they are, cost minus 1 energy until played. Then we have White Knight 2. On the play, your Radical Rockets cards in hand gain 15 power this turn. A nice low cost rocket card. Next we have SpaceX Starship. On the play, for every Radical Rockets cards in your deck, up to a maximum of 12, the card opposite this loses 10 power this turn. And then on the return, your Radical Rockets cards, wherever they are, cost minus one energy next turn. A very good card, and it is one of the newer cards. Next we have Firefly Alpha. On the play, if you have played Firefly Alpha this game, your Radical Rockets cards in hand gain 16 power permanently. Next we have Long March 2F. On the play, if your deck contains 12 or more Radical Rockets cards, this card gains 80 power this turn. Then we have Thor Delta. On the play, your Tesla 1 card in hand gains 82 power this turn. It's just a nice, decent rocket card for the price. Same with a Black Arrow. On the return, if your deck contains Pospro Satellite, your remaining space technology cards in hand gain 20 power for 4 turns. It's just a relatively strong rocket. And again with N1, uh, on the play, your Moon card, wherever it is, gains 25 power until played. Another just decent rocket, and they are rares, so they don't get affected by Alice Blue. And finally, we have Fal Formal Hot. On the draw, your space cards, wherever they are, gain 30 power until played. And then on the play, for every round completed this game, your space cards, wherever they are, lose 10 power permanently. So that's the deck guys, we'll just jump into a match and see how we can do. It's been performing relatively well for me so far. So here we go, looks like we have found a real opponent, we'll see if we can get the win. So the opponent is playing a similar deck maybe, also Rockets probably, considering his avatar. So we go with the Eris. The Long March and the SpaceX. Now we'll go with the Soyuz just for energy reduction in case this goes into the long game. 
So we're getting the lead now at the start. So hopefully we get good rotations on our cards. So I think we'll go with the SpaceX Starship, the Long March, and the strongest one we have with the Black Arrow for a 192. And hopefully it is enough to get the win. Unfortunately not, so we don't get the full effect of Long March. That is very unfortunate. But we still do get the minimum boost of 15 power. And we have the SpaceX, so we get that around with the Gennady. And I suppose we'll just play the cheapest one, the Thor for a 350. And it is enough to get the win here in the first round. So we'll see what we can get here in round two. Our fall mod is due to come out. Um, we'll save that for the last turn of the round. So we'll go Planisphere with the N1 and the White Knight 2 for a 406. The opponent is choosing to play his fall from a hot, but I think I'll hold on to mine and we if we are losing the round at the end I will play it. But I will try to go for the win in this round as well. There is the Firefly Alpha, we get that around with the Chongden and the Space Launch for a 464. Is enough to maintain our win. So hopefully we can keep up the momentum here and see out this round. There is the Eris. I will be getting that round with the Eileen and the Space Shuttle. So we go for the 376. We might lose the turn, but we'll see what happens here. Oh, it looks like the opponent has quit. That is okay, we'll jump into another game. Looks like we just got the better draw there. So we'll jump into one more. As you can see, I haven't handed in the quests. I am going to save them all up since I've already completed the season pass. And I'll use them all when the next season pass rolls around. As there's no real point in claiming them at the moment. So here we go. So we'll say hello to the opponent. We got Fummel Hot in the first hand, so we get that right back around. Um, we'll go with Space Launch. No, we get the Firefly round and the Soyuz for a 277 start. So the opponent is playing probably uh, mammals or marsupials. So it's a strong starting hand here we got. So I think we'll go for the Space Launch with the Long March and the Falcon Heavy for a 344. Luckily it was enough to win the turn so we get the full effect of Long March. So that is plus 25 to all of our rockets. Very excellent card. I suppose we'll rotate around the SpaceX with the White Knight and the cheapest one. We go with the Thor Delta for a 369. And it is enough to finish out the first round here. There we go, round one in the bag. We'll see if we can get into uh, round two here. There is our Eris. We get that around. So I think we go Eris with the Eileen and the Space Shuttle for a 265, not the strongest start. But we will be playing for the long game here, as we do have a good few boosts. 
So we're a decent bit behind, but we will be get drawing our formal hush this game, or this round. So that will give a nice big boost to our cards. So I suppose I'll go with Kennedy, the Planet Sphere, and the John Glenn. Just for energy reduction, I'll put the John Glenn in front in case this goes to a longer game. So we'll try and get all of our boosting hand here in the losing rounds. So we get the Firefly Alpha out, and I suppose the long march just to see if we can sneak out a win here. Oh, unfortunately, we were, didn't manage to do it. We came very close. If I hadn't played the Falmos, I could have won that round, but I'd rather line it up for the late game. So we'll get the Soyuz, the Space Launch and the Long March around for a 6.58 start. It is more than enough to get well ahead of the opponent here, so we get the full effect of the Long March again. That will give us quite the advantage this round, even with the Tetsudo formation. I think we'll be, we will be just fine this round. So we get the SpaceX around here first with the Falcon Heavy and I suppose the White Knight 2 for a 684. It is enough to stay ahead of the opponent. And I suppose we can hold on to the cards in hand and keep them for the next round. We can play a bit of a weaker hand here this turn. So I suppose, no, I think we'll go all out here and we'll rotate our other cards around here for the final round of the game. Why don't you try and take full advantage of our cards? So we go with the Eileen Collins, the Space Shuttle, and the John Glenn. So we'll be playing all of our boosting cards this round and go for the win in the third round. Unless we can manage to sneak out a win here, but I'll be playing our weakest cards. So the Eris and the Kennedy will be going around. And the Planisphere as well. For a 391. And we get the big boost from Eris as well. So we have some fairly strong cards in hand. And we'll see what we draw here. So we will probably be winning the turn. Even with... We'll Though we'll be playing our weakest cards, so we'll go with the Long March, the Firefly Alpha, I suppose the Space Launch System for a 713. Yeah, we'll just go with the 713 and see what happens. I actually could have won if I played the Long March, but that's okay. We'll still go for the Long Game anyway. So here we go into round three, or to round five, and we'll just go all out here at the start. So we want to get the size around with the long march and the SpaceX for an 8.29. So we hit a good target there with the Stampede. That puts us well into the lead and hopefully more too much for the opponent to come back from. 
and we get the energy reductions with the Starship and the Soyuz, so our energy should be just fine for the final round here. So we're just going to go with the strongest hand again, with the Falcon, the Black Arrow, 706, so we go with that for a 706. It's enough to keep in line with the opponent, as long as there's no big surprises here, we should be just fine. I believe we have some good cards lined up here. So we go Space Shuttle, Eileen and the N1 and see if that's enough to eke out the win. The opponent needs to have the 1000. It looks like we were just able to sneak by. A very, very good game. Just barely scraped by, but uh, we did manage to get the win. So, excellent game from the opponent. Uh, as you can see, the deck performs very well against the other very strong decks in the league this week. So, you should be able to get to rank 1 using this deck. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment. And I will catch you again next time. Cards Everywhere, out.